I want to talk to you about freedom here in the context of something you've mentioned, which is that one way to take away freedom is to put a human being into a cage, to create constraints. The other one that worries me is something that I think you've spoken to, to Twitter a little bit on Twitter is we bleed freedom by kind of slowly uh, scaring you into not doing, not expressing the full spectrum of opportunities you can as freedom. So like when you ban Donald Trump, mm. when you uh, ban uh, Parler, you give a little doubt in the minds of millions, like me, a person who's a tech person, who's an entre entrepreneur, there's a little, that's what I'm afraid of when I look in the mirror. Is there now a little doubt in there Sure. That, that limits the amount of options I will try? How certain are you that the COVID virus didn't come from the Wuhan lab and is biosafety level four? We both know that we're both supposed to robotically say, the idea that the COVID virus came from a lab is a discredited conspiracy theory. There is no evidence that suggests that this is true. The World Health Organization and the CDC have both opined this. To say otherwise would be incredibly irresponsible. And the threat of that yeah. is the thing that ultimately limits the, the freedoms we feel. I should be tweeting about Jeff Epstein all the time. And you're afraid. Well, it's also in boring. A sense. I mean, I said it in the public. Yeah. Many times. Why is it we don't ask where the records are from Villard House? Where, where are the financial records? Where are the SEC filings? Yeah. Where are the questions on, on the record to the intelligence uh, agencies? Was he known to be part of the intelligence community? So, the, so we're, we're not interested in asking questions. Like, am I going to die as a result of asking the question, was Jeff Epstein part of the intelligence community of any nation? Is there a reason we're not asking about the financial records of the supposed hedge fund that he didn't run? Just like the Wuhan lab. Okay, how do we get to the core of the Jeffrey Epstein, the the truth behind Jeffrey Epstein in a sense? I mean, there's, there's some things that are just like useless conspiracy theories around it, even if they're true. There's some things that get to- I hate something. to say it, you're not gonna like it. Look at the 1971 Media Pennsylvania break-in of the Citizens Committee to investigate the FBI. Those kids, and by the way, they weren't all kids, did what had to be done. They broke in, they broke the law. It was an incredible act of civil disobedience. And God bless Judy Feingold for taking to her, she was going to take to her grave that she'd been part of this, like the coolest thing of all time. They didn't say anything for forever. So civil disobedience, I mean, you have to... We are founded on civil disobedience. Civil yeah. disobedience is incredibly, you screw it up and you're just a vandal. You screw it up, you're a hooligan. Yeah. Those those cats were so disciplined. It's an art form. In it was an art form sense. and they risked everything. They were willing to pay with their freedom. Those are the sorts of people who earned the right by putting themselves at risk. I would not do this. I am not volunteering to break into anything. I think it was uh, William Davidon, who was a student of Murray Gelman and a physics professor at Haverford, who corralled these people and led this effort. And right now, what we need is somebody to blow the lid off of what is controlling everything. We have, I, I'm happy to hear that it's a system of incentive structures, that it's a system of selective pressures. I'm happy to find out that it's emergent. I'm happy to find that it's partially directed by our own intelligence community. I'm happy to hear that, uh, in fact, we've been penetrated by North Korea, Iran, China, and Russia. But I need to know why people aren't, like the, the firebombing of the courthouse in Portland, Oregon has no explanation. And, and somehow this is normal. This is not normal to any human being. We have video that people don't believe. And you know, I, I come back to the shaggy defense of it wasn't me, you know? So it's like, um, you, you remember that song? Shaggy, yeah, it wasn't me, caught you uh, banging on the in counter. the shower, on the counter. Yeah, yeah exactly, it wasn't me. <laughs> it He's wasn't like, me. He says, 
but his friend says, well, your, your strategy makes no sense at all. <laughs> <laughs> well, this is what MSNBC is doing. <laughs> you dropped him from the graphic. It wasn't yeah, me. It wasn't you, me. You came up with another Yang. It wasn't me. I will never see MSNBC the same again.